Welcome back to our PineScript video tutorial series. So today in this video we're going to talk about lines and indentation and we're going to cover this topic in detail. If you are new to our channel, please check out our PineScript tutorial series where you can find all the tutorials related to PineScript and you can start from beginning there as well. So let's get on with the video. So what is a line? Basically all the code that we write in PineScript is in the form of lines of code and these lines are often referred to as statements as well. Now this one here is our first line, here is a second line, third, fourth and you can also see the numbering of these lines on the left here and as you can see uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So right now we have 10 lines in our code and you can have as many lines of code as you want in my programming career i have never come across the end where it says no more space left so if you keep going down and keep writing your code it's gonna take you to wherever you want to go and uh, as many number of lines of code you want to have so as you can see it keeps going down and down so let me go back and in the similar manner you can also have a line which is as long as you want it to be so let me copy that and start pasting it so as you can see it keeps going forward and forward but the thing is you won't be having that these long lines because these are not user friendly for you and for someone who will be using your script as well so which takes us to the topic of indentation that is how you can divide your one long line of code into multiple lines of code so let me first remove all these extra characters and now if i have this line and i want to divide this one line into multiple lines what i'll need to do is i'll have to hit enter and give it a space the only thing that you need to keep in mind is there should be at least one space between the left of the PineScript dashboard or start and there should uh, and there's no limit to the space number of spaces you can have but you should keep in mind that the space you give should not be multiple of four so if I hit enter and go to the four and I have given four spaces here but what will happen is it's gonna give me an error while compiling the code so let me hit save and as you can see it gave me, gave me an error and it took me to the line where the error was now this you you need to keep that in mind you always have to give space which is not a multiple of four and if i give it one more space which will take it to five spaces and save it it's gonna work like char so i can divide it however i want to and let me go here and put the number of spaces here we go here and here as well so let me hit save and it's gonna work as well because none of the spaces here for these lines is a multiple of four and there's at least one space between the starting of the core and the left of our pine script compiler dashboard the reason you cannot have these multiples of four spaces is these places the multiples of four are reserved for custom functions if you don't know about custom functions don't worry we're gonna cover that in our later stages of our course and for now you can just keep in mind that the space that you give for indentation should not be multiple of four and there should be at least one space between the left of the your of your coding dashboard and the start of your code so as you can see this looks a little odd but let me just make them symmetrical so that they look they don't look that odd so let me go here and yeah now if i save it it's again gonna save it and if i hit it add it to chart it's gonna add this script to the chart Another thing you need to keep in mind is you cannot add comments to multi-line statements which contains instructions. So let me show you by example what this means. So if I write a comment here that says comment plus 
one and now if i save it it's gonna give me an error because i have added an instruction here and if i click on this line it's gonna take me to the beginning of this line because this is a multi-line so it took us to the first fraction of our multi-line statement it doesn't take you to the exact line in which the error is but you need to keep that in mind that you cannot add comments which contains instructions in order to add comments which contain instructions what you can do is you can put those comments in the new lines so if i go here and add this comment here it's gonna save and work so in order to add comments which contains instructions as well you can put them in the new lines and it's gonna process the script and save the script so it's saved now so i hope you liked this video if you have any questions please comment down below and i would love to answer them and in order to learn more about PineScript, please subscribe our channel to keep getting the updates in future and you can also visit our channel page to visit the playlist which contains all the tutorials of PineScript. In order to learn more about Forex and PineScript as well, you can visit our website www.forexb.co. So see you guys in the next video. Thank you.